This is what you might have missed on BCSN's Sports Nightly. College football big weekend for the Midnight Blue and Gold. They take care of business against one win Eastern Michigan, thanks in part to this blocked field goal by Jawan Woodley. That led to two things. One, an incredible return for a touchdown by linebacker Chase Murdoch. And two, Woodley being named Smack West Special Teams Player of the Week. The win also put Toledo in the top 20. Not top 25, but top 20 as they are 20th in the coaches poll and 19th in the AP poll, the highest ranking they've achieved since 1997. It's been a one game at a time, one day at a time approach with our group. And obviously, like I said, we're not a finished product. We've got a lot of work to do. Um, I think our kids know that. Again, you watch the film from last week, some really good things, but some areas that we've got to continue to improve on. And for us, it, it has been nothing more than how do we come one day at a time, get ourselves better, and prepare to play the next football game. Seven games into the season right now where we've gotten better every week, and that's what I love about our football team up until this point, the investment our kids have made to getting better. And, and obviously, we're going to have to continue to do that if we want to play at a high rate. Now, they don't have the ranking in the polls, but the BGSU Falcons are still among the top passing teams in the country. Matt Johnson continues to be the number one quarterback in the nation in passing yards, just shy of 2,900. He threw for five touchdowns for the third time this season. That's only happened six times in the school's 95 years of football. As you might expect, Johnson named Mac East Offensive Player of the Week again. And at least one coach took note as the Falcons received one vote <laughs> in this week's coaches poll. As for Johnson, should he be in the Heisman discussion? We give him a hard time about it, but I mean, it's nothing that I mean, we're all, we're all pretty good teammates, so I mean, it's not too serious, but at the same time, I mean, the numbers he's put up and the success that he's had, I mean, I think he's a pretty good candidate, if you ask anybody on our team. All I know is, is that there was a guy at Northern Illinois that was really good that helped his team win, and if Matt is something like that guy and that guy got an opportunity to go, maybe Matt should get an opportunity to go. Be sure to watch Sports Nightly weeknights at 10.30 on BCSN and follow us on Twitter at sports underscore nightly.